Lesson 1, Supermarket Shopping Hi Anna, did you find everything on our shopping list? Hi John, yes, I got all the items we needed. That's great. I think that's it. Let's go to the cashier and pay for our groceries. Sure, let's head to the checkout counter. Did you bring your shopping bag with you? We can save some plastic. Yes, I brought my reusable bag. It's better for the environment. Excellent, I always try to be mindful of our impact on the planet. That's a good habit to have. Small changes can make a big difference. Absolutely, every little bit counts. Oh, and don't forget to grab a shopping cart. Right, let's get one. We have quite a few items today. True, it's better to be comfortable while shopping. Do you need any help with the bags? No, thanks. I can manage. But I appreciate your offer. No problem. We make a great team when it comes to grocery shopping. Definitely. We've got this down to a science. I think so too. All right, let's go and pay for our groceries. Lesson 2 Health and Well Being Anna, have you ever tried meditation for relaxation? Yes, I have. It helps me reduce stress and find inner peace. That's wonderful. I've been feeling a bit overwhelmed lately. Meditation could be a great way to find some calm amidst the chaos. I never realized how deep the impact could be. I'll give it a try. That's a positive mindset. Start with a few minutes each day and see how you feel. I'll definitely do that. It's important to prioritize our mental well-being. Absolutely. Taking care of our minds is just as important as taking care of our bodies. You're right. I think I need to make self-care a bigger part of my routine. It's never too late to start. Small steps can lead to significant changes. I'm glad we're having this conversation. It's inspiring me to take action. I'm happy to hear that. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. Thank you for your support. It means a lot to me. You're welcome. I believe in you. You've got this. Lesson 3. The Power of Laughter Hi Anna, have you heard the saying, laughter is the best medicine? Hi John, yes, I have. It's true, laughter can have a positive impact on our well-being. I couldn't agree more. It's the simple act of laughing that brings so much joy. Absolutely. Laughing can lighten our mood and relieve stress. I think we should make time for laughter in our lives. It's important. I completely agree. We should find humor in everyday situations. Exactly. It's amazing how a good laugh can change our perspective. Laughter is contagious too. It brings people together. That's true. Sharing a laugh with friends and loved ones creates strong bonds. It's a universal language that everyone understands. I love those moments when we can't stop laughing and our stomachs hurt. Me too. It's such a great feeling. We should cherish those moments. Absolutely. Let's not forget to find the humor in life and share a laugh whenever we can. Lesson 4. Interview Preparation Hi Anna, I have a job interview tomorrow. Should I bring anything with me? Hi John, yes, you should definitely bring copies of your resume. That's a good point. I'll make sure to print out a few copies. 
It's always good to have extra copies in case there are multiple interviewers. That makes sense. I want to be prepared and organized. You should also bring a notepad and pen to take notes during the interview. I'll make sure to have those ready. Writing down important details is essential. And don't forget to research the company beforehand. It shows your interest. Absolutely. I've been reading about the company's values and goals. That's great. It will help you answer questions more effectively. I want to make a good impression and show that I'm the right fit for the job. Just be yourself and stay confident. You've got this. Thank you. Your support means a lot to me. I'll do my best. Lesson 5 Memorable Moments Hi Anna, do you have a moment? I want to share something exciting with you. Hi there. Of course, I'm all ears. What's on your mind? I had the most incredible experience yesterday. I won a photography contest. Wow, congratulations. That's fantastic news. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. It was such a proud moment for me. I couldn't believe it. I can only imagine the joy and satisfaction you must have felt. It was a surreal feeling, seeing my work recognized and appreciated. That's great to hear. Your talent and dedication paid off. It's moments like these that make all the hard work worthwhile. Absolutely. Cherish this achievement and continue pursuing your passion. I will. Thank you for your support and encouragement. Lesson 6 Hotel Facilities Hi Anna, have you seen the hotel rooms and public areas? They look amazing. That's great to hear. A well-designed hotel can enhance the overall experience. The rooms are spacious and beautifully decorated. It's so inviting. Aesthetics play a crucial role in creating a comfortable and welcoming atmosphere. Absolutely. The attention to detail in the design is impressive. It's important for hotels to create a positive impression on their guests. The public areas are equally impressive. The lobby is grand and elegantly furnished. A well-designed lobby can set the tone for the entire hotel stay. The hotel also has a fitness center and a swimming pool. It's perfect for relaxation. Amenities like these add value to the guest experience and cater to their needs. I'll be sure to make use of the facilities during my stay. It's an added bonus. Enjoy your time there. I hope you have a wonderful stay at the hotel. Lesson 7, Making New Connections Hi Anna, I've been feeling a bit lonely lately. I miss having friends around. That's understandable. Human connections are important for our well-being. I totally get it. It's important to have people to share experiences and create memories with. Absolutely. Building friendships allows us to support and uplift each other. I would love to meet new people and make new friends. Any suggestions? That would be great. You could join social clubs or attend community events. That's a good idea. Engaging in shared interests can help form strong connections. You can also try volunteering or taking classes. It's a great way to meet like-minded individuals. I'll definitely explore those options. It's time to expand my social circle. That's the spirit. I'm sure you'll meet wonderful people along the way. Thank you. Your encouragement means a lot to me. I'm excited to make new connections. 
Lesson 8, Exploring Different Cultures Hi Anna, I love immersing myself in different cultures. It's such a fascinating experience. I agree. Exploring different cultures broadens our perspectives and enriches our lives. Absolutely. Each culture has its unique traditions, customs, and ways of life. It's fascinating how diverse the world is. There's always something new to discover. Do you have any preferences when it comes to experiencing different cultures? I enjoy trying out different cuisines and learning about traditional celebrations. Food is a great way to explore a culture's flavors and culinary traditions. I also love learning about their history, art, and music. It gives me a deeper understanding. That's true. Art and music reflect the soul of a culture and evoke powerful emotions. Traveling to different countries or attending cultural festivals can be a fantastic way to immerse yourself. I'll make it a point to embrace new cultures and expand my horizons. It's the ultimate passion. That's wonderful. Embracing diversity will open up a world of possibilities for you. Lesson 9, Aromatic Delights Hi Anna, have you considered creating a pleasant ambience in your home? Hi John, absolutely. I've been thinking about using scented candles to add a lovely fragrance. That's a great idea. Scented candles can create a relaxing atmosphere. I agree. They can also make the environment more inviting when we have guests over. Definitely. Certain scents can even help improve our mood and reduce stress. That's fascinating. I didn't know scents could have such an impact on our emotions. Yes, it's quite interesting. Lavender, for example, is known for its calming effect. Ah, I love the smell of lavender. It's so soothing. Another popular choice is vanilla. Its sweet aroma creates a warm and cozy feeling. Oh, I adore the scent of vanilla. It always reminds me of freshly baked cookies. Speaking of baked goods, have you ever considered using scented candles that smell like cinnamon or apple pie? That sounds delightful. The aroma of cinnamon and apple pie would create a cozy and comforting atmosphere. Absolutely. It's like having the essence of freshly baked treats without the calories. I'm definitely going to look for those scented candles. They sound amazing. Great. I'm sure you'll enjoy the pleasant ambience they create in your home. Thank you for the suggestion. I'm excited to explore the world of scented candles now. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. Enjoy your aromatic journey. Lesson 10, Creamy Indulgence. Hi Anna, have you ever tried a dish that's creamy with bacon and parmesan cheese? Hi John, yes, I have. It's absolutely delicious. I agree. The combination of creaminess, bacon, and parmesan creates a delightful flavor. It's a rich and indulgent dish, perfect for special occasions or when you want to treat yourself. Definitely. The creaminess adds a smooth and velvety texture to the dish. And the bacon adds a savory and slightly smoky taste. It really enhances the overall flavor. Absolutely. And let's not forget about the Parmesan cheese. Its nutty and sharp flavor complements the other ingredients perfectly. Yes, Parmesan cheese adds a wonderful depth of flavor. It's one of my favorite cheeses to use in cooking. I couldn't agree more. It's versatile and adds a touch of elegance to any dish. Exactly. Whether it's sprinkled on top or melted into a sauce, Parmesan cheese always takes the dish to another level. It definitely elevates the taste. 
That's why it's a popular choice in many Italian recipes. I can see why. The combination of creaminess, bacon, and Parmesan cheese is a winning trio. It's a culinary delight that satisfies both the taste buds and the soul. Absolutely. It's comfort food at its finest. Well, now I'm craving a creamy dish with bacon and Parmesan cheese. It's truly irresistible. Same here. Let's go and indulge in some culinary bliss. Sounds like a plan. Let's treat ourselves to a creamy and delicious meal. I'm already looking forward to it. Let's go. Lesson 11, Tasty Experiments. Hi Anna, have you tried the new restaurant in town? Hi there. Not yet. How was it? I'm a bit nervous to try it. It was delicious. The food was flavorful, and the presentation was impressive. That sounds tempting. What dish would you recommend? The grilled salmon was exceptional. It was cooked to perfection. I love seafood. I should give it a try then. Anything else you enjoyed? The tiramisu for dessert was heavenly. It had the perfect balance of flavors. I have a weakness for desserts. I'll definitely order that. You should give it a go. I'm sure you'll enjoy it as much as I did. I trust your taste. I'll make a reservation right away. Thanks for the recommendation. Lesson 12, Green Thumbs Hi Anna, have you ever tried gardening? Hi John, yes, I have. I find it therapeutic and rewarding. That's wonderful. What plants do you usually grow? I enjoy cultivating flowers like tulips. They add beauty to my garden. Flowers are lovely. Have you tried growing any vegetables? Yes, I grow some vegetables like tomatoes. They taste so much better when homegrown. That's true. Freshly picked tomatoes have a unique flavor. It's satisfying to see the fruits of your labor in the form of homegrown produce. Absolutely. It's a great way to connect with nature and enjoy the outdoors. Gardening also teaches patience and nurtures a sense of responsibility. I agree. It's a fulfilling hobby that brings joy and positivity. I couldn't agree more. It's amazing what a little time and care can do for plants. Indeed. Gardening is a beautiful journey of growth and learning. Lesson 13, Exploring Customs and Traditions Hi Anna, have you ever participated in any local activities to learn about customs and traditions? Hi John, yes, I love immersing myself in different cultures and experiencing their unique traditions. That sounds fascinating. Could you share some of your experiences? Sure. I once took part in a traditional dance workshop during a cultural festival. That must have been exciting. Did you learn any specific dance moves? Yes, I learned some basic steps and movements that are part of their cultural heritage. That's incredible. I hope I can try something similar someday. You should. It's a great way to connect with the local community and learn about their values. I'm a bit nervous to try it, but I believe it would be an enriching experience. Don't worry, everyone starts as a beginner. The important thing is to have fun and embrace the learning process. You're right. I should step out of my comfort zone and give it a try. That's the spirit. I'm sure you'll discover a whole new world of customs and traditions. Thank you. Your encouragement means a lot to me. Lesson 14, Thrilling Match 
Hi Anna, did you watch the match last night? It was incredible. Hi John, yes, I did. It was such an exciting game. The teams played with so much energy and skill. It was a joy to watch. I hope we can watch more matches like that. It really gets your adrenaline pumping. Absolutely. It's thrilling to see the players' determination and the intense competition. And the atmosphere in the stadium must have been electric. I can only imagine. The cheers from the crowd must have been deafening. It's always special to be part of that energy and unity among the fans. That's true. It brings people together, regardless of their backgrounds or differences. Sports have a way of transcending barriers and creating a sense of camaraderie. Definitely. It's a shared experience that brings communities closer. And it's not just about the game itself. It's also about the stories and emotions behind it. Absolutely. Sports can inspire us and teach us valuable life lessons. They teach us about teamwork, perseverance, and the power of determination. That's why I love watching sports. It's not just entertainment, it's a source of inspiration. I couldn't agree more. It's incredible how a simple game can evoke such passion and excitement. It truly is. I'm already looking forward to the next match. I hope it's just as thrilling. Me too. Let's keep our fingers crossed for another unforgettable game. Lesson 15, Planning a Trip Hi Anna, I heard about a beautiful place nearby. How can we get there? Hi John, that sounds perfect. Should we drive or take the train? Driving would give us more flexibility, but taking the train could be more relaxing. True. Let's consider the distance and traffic conditions before deciding. Agreed. We should also check if there are any scenic routes along the way. That's a great idea. It would make the journey more enjoyable. We could pack some snacks and have a picnic during the trip as well. That's a wonderful suggestion. It would be a memorable experience. I'll look up the directions and estimate the travel time by car. And I'll check the train schedule and see if it's convenient for us. Perfect. Let's gather all the information and then make a decision. Sounds like a plan. I'm already excited about our upcoming adventure. Me too. I can't wait to explore the beauty of that place with you. Lesson 16, Sunday Breakfast Tradition Hi Anna, do you have any special dishes you make for Sunday breakfast? Hi John, every Sunday we have a big breakfast together. It's a lovely tradition. That's nice. Any special dishes you make for this occasion? Yes, I usually make pancakes with fresh fruits and maple syrup. Yum! Pancakes are always a crowd pleaser. Do you have any secret ingredients? I add a touch of vanilla extract to enhance the flavor of the pancakes. That sounds delicious. Is there anything else you prepare for the breakfast? I also make scrambled eggs with cheese and a side of crispy bacon. That's a hearty combination. It must be a satisfying meal to start the day. It definitely is. We gather around the table, share stories, and enjoy the food together. I love the idea of a cozy Sunday breakfast. It brings the family closer. Absolutely. It's a time to relax, bond, and create beautiful memories. I hope we can join you for one of these Sunday breakfasts someday. That would be wonderful. You're always welcome to join us. Lesson 17, Sustainable Choices 
Hi Anna, have you found any reusable alternatives like cloth bags and metal straws? Hi John, yes, I've been actively looking for eco-friendly options. That's impressive. What made you start making these sustainable choices? I realized the impact of single-use items on the environment and wanted to make a difference. That's commendable. I think small changes can lead to significant positive effects. Absolutely. Using cloth bags and metal straws is a simple step towards reducing waste. I agree. It's important to be mindful of our consumption and its consequences. By opting for reusable alternatives, we can contribute to a cleaner and healthier planet. That's true. I'll make sure to get some cloth bags and metal straws for myself too. That's great. Together, we can inspire others to make sustainable choices as well. Lesson 18, Pursuing a Passion Hi Anna, I've always had an interest in music and wondered if you have any musical hobbies. Hi John, music is a wonderful passion to pursue. What instrument do you play? I enjoy playing the guitar. It's a versatile instrument that allows me to express myself. That's fantastic. Have you been playing for a long time? Yes, I started learning a few years ago, and I've been practicing ever since. That's dedication. What made you start playing the guitar? I've always been fascinated by its sound and the ability to create melodies. It's amazing how music can touch our emotions and bring people together. Absolutely. Music has the power to connect people from different backgrounds and cultures. I couldn't agree more. It's a universal language that transcends barriers. I'm grateful for the joy and fulfillment music brings to my life. That's wonderful. Keep pursuing your passion and sharing your music with others. Lesson 19, Travel Excitement Hi Anna, are you excited about our upcoming trip? Hi John, yes I do. I'm quite excited but also a bit overwhelmed with all the planning. I understand. Planning can be a lot of work, but it will be worth it once we're there. That's true. I can't wait to explore new places and experience different cultures. It's always exciting to step out of our comfort zone and embrace new adventures. Absolutely. Traveling opens our minds and broadens our perspectives. I'm looking forward to trying new foods and immersing myself in the local atmosphere. That's one of the best parts of traveling, the opportunity to indulge in diverse cuisines. I agree. It's a great way to learn about different cultures through their food. I'm sure we'll have an unforgettable journey filled with amazing memories. I couldn't agree more. It's going to be an adventure of a lifetime. Lesson 20, Embracing Winter Hi Anna, winter can be cold, but I like cozying up by the fireplace. Hi John, I agree. There's something magical about the warmth of a crackling fire. It creates a cozy ambience and makes you feel snug on cold winter nights. Absolutely. It's the perfect setting for enjoying a hot cup of cocoa or reading a book. I also love how winter landscapes transform into a beautiful winter wonderland. The glistening snow and frost-covered trees create a picturesque scene. It's a great time for outdoor activities like ice skating and building snowmen too. Winter sports like skiing and snowboarding are also popular during this season. Even though it's cold, winter has its own charm and unique beauty. I couldn't agree more. It's a season that invites us to appreciate coziness and embrace the cold. So let's bundle up and make the most of this enchanting time of the year. Lesson 21, Savory Pasta Dish 
Hi Anna, how about we mix in the sauce and bacon for a perfect pasta dish? Hi John, that sounds delicious. I love the combination of flavors in pasta dishes. Me too. The sauce adds a rich and savory taste, while the bacon adds a hint of smokiness. It's a great way to elevate a simple pasta dish into something more flavorful. Definitely. And the aroma of the sauce and bacon cooking together is irresistible. I can already imagine the mouth-watering dish. How long does it take to cook? It usually takes about 20 minutes to cook the sauce and bacon to perfection. That's not too long. It gives us time to prepare the pasta and set the table. Exactly. It's all about creating a complete dining experience. I can't wait to savor every bite of that delicious pasta dish. Lesson 22, Project Deadlines Hi there, did you have a chance to review the project deadlines? Hi, yes, I did. We have quite a few deadlines coming up. It's important to stay organized and ensure we meet all the project milestones. Absolutely. We need to prioritize tasks and allocate resources efficiently. That way, we can work effectively and deliver high-quality results. I agree. Clear communication and coordination among team members are crucial too. It helps us stay on track and address any challenges that may arise. We should also regularly update our progress and report any potential delays. That's true. Being proactive and proactive can help us meet our deadlines successfully. Let's work together and support each other to ensure a smooth and successful project completion. I'm confident that with our dedication and teamwork, we'll achieve our project goals. Lesson 23, Work-Life Balance Hi Anna, have you considered setting clear boundaries between work and home? Hi John, yes, I think it's important to establish clear boundaries for a healthy work-life balance. That sounds like a good approach. It helps prevent work from encroaching on personal time. Absolutely. It allows us to recharge and maintain our overall well-being. Setting specific work hours and sticking to them can be beneficial. Yes, it helps us focus on work during designated hours and prioritize personal time afterward. It's important to communicate these boundaries with colleagues and managers too. Definitely. By setting expectations, we can create a more productive work environment. And when we're off work, we can fully enjoy our personal activities without distractions. That's right. Achieving a healthy work-life balance is essential for long-term happiness and success. Lesson 24, Stunning Beaches of Barbados Hi Anna, how about the island of Barbados? It's known for stunning beaches. Hi John, Barbados sounds amazing. I've heard about its pristine beaches and crystal clear waters. Yes, the beaches there are truly breathtaking. The white sand and turquoise sea are a sight to behold. It must be a paradise for beach lovers and water enthusiasts. Definitely. Barbados offers a wide range of water activities like snorkeling, diving, and surfing. Exploring the vibrant marine life and riding the waves would be so much fun. And let's not forget the relaxing beach lounging and soaking up the sun. It sounds like a perfect destination for a tropical getaway. I couldn't agree more. Barbados has so much natural beauty to offer. I can already imagine myself enjoying the stunning beaches and the warm Caribbean breeze. Lesson 25, Time-Saving Tips Hi Anna, do you have any time-saving tips? I feel like I'm always running out of time. Hi John, yes, I do. 
One thing I do is lay out my clothes the night before. That's a great idea. It saves time in the morning when you already know what to wear. Exactly. It eliminates the need to spend extra minutes deciding on an outfit. Are there any other time saving tricks you use? Yes, I also make a to do list at the beginning of each day. It helps me prioritize tasks and stay organized. That's smart. Having a clear plan can prevent wasting time on unnecessary things. Another tip is to delegate tasks when possible. If you have others who can help, it lightens your workload. That's true. Sharing responsibilities can free up time for more important or enjoyable activities. And when it comes to cooking, meal prepping can be a real time saver. I usually prepare meals in advance for the week. Meal prepping sounds like a great way to save time and ensure you have healthy meals ready to go. It definitely is. It reduces the need to cook from scratch every day. I'll have to give these tips a try. Time management is something I struggle with. It takes practice, but once you find a routine that works for you, it becomes easier. Thank you for sharing these time saving strategies. I'm excited to implement them and gain more control over my time. You're welcome. I hope they help you make the most of each day. Lesson 26 Exploring During Travels. Hi, Anna. Have you had the opportunity to explore during your travels? Hi, John. Yes, I have. Exploring new places is one of the best parts of traveling. I couldn't agree more. It's exciting to immerse yourself in different cultures and discover hidden gems. Absolutely. One tip I have is to research the local attractions and create an itinerary beforehand. That's a good idea. Planning ahead allows you to make the most of your time and ensures you don't miss out on must-see places. However, it's also important to leave room for spontaneity. Sometimes the best experiences happen when you least expect them. I agree. It's fun to wander and stumble upon unique spots that may not be in the guidebooks. Another way to explore is by interacting with the locals. They often have valuable insider knowledge and can recommend off-the-beaten-path destinations. That's true. Locals can provide insights that you won't find in travel blogs or websites. And don't forget to try the local cuisine. Food is a delicious way to experience a new culture. Absolutely. Trying new dishes and flavors adds a whole other dimension to your travel experience. Lastly, don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone and try new activities. Whether it's hiking, dancing, or learning a traditional craft, it can be incredibly rewarding. I'll keep that in mind. Stepping out of my comfort zone is something I want to work on. It can be intimidating at first, but it often leads to unforgettable memories and personal growth. Thank you for sharing these tips. I'm excited to embrace exploration during my future travels. You're welcome. Happy travels, and may each journey be filled with adventure and discovery. Lesson 27, Asking for Directions Hi Anna, excuse me, do you know where the library is? Hi there, yes, it's just a few blocks away. Take a left at the next intersection. Thank you. Is it a big library with a lot of books? Yes, it's quite spacious and has a wide collection of books and resources. That's great. I'm looking forward to exploring the library. You'll definitely find something interesting to read or study there. I appreciate your help. Can you also tell me if there's a coffee shop nearby? Of course. There's a cozy coffee shop right across from the library. Perfect. 
I can grab a cup of coffee after I finish at the library. Sounds like a plan. Enjoy your time at the library and the coffee. Thank you again. I'm excited to discover the library and enjoy a nice cup of coffee. Lesson 28 Trying on Clothes. Hi, Anna. I found some clothes that I think would look great on you. Want to try them on? Hi, John. Sure, I'd love to see how they look on me. Thank you for picking them out. No problem. I think the size should be perfect for you. That's good to hear. I hope they fit well. Let's start with the shirt. It's a vibrant color that complements your complexion. I like the design. It's trendy and stylish. Great. Now, let's try the jeans. They should go well with the shirt. I like the fit of these jeans, and the color is versatile too. It's a perfect match. You look fantastic in this outfit. Thank you for your help and fashion sense. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. It was fun helping you find something that suits your style. I'm glad you suggested these clothes. I feel confident and comfortable in them. Lesson 29, Shopping for Clothes Hi Anna, I found a great store with stylish clothes. Want to check it out? Hi there, that sounds interesting. I'm always up for some shopping. Great! When trying on clothes, it's essential to make sure they fit well and are comfortable. Absolutely. It's important to feel confident and at ease in what we wear. Definitely. Let's start with this dress. The color and design would suit you. It looks lovely. I'll try it on and see how it looks on me. Take your time and let me know how it feels. Comfort is key. I'm back. The dress fits perfectly, and it's so comfortable to wear. That's fantastic. It suits you really well, and you seem confident in it. Thank you for helping me find such a great dress. I love it. I'm glad you like it. Remember, always prioritize comfort and confidence when choosing clothes. Lesson 30, Language Barriers Hi Anna, I heard you recently traveled to a foreign country. How was the experience? Hi. It was amazing. I got to immerse myself in a different culture. That sounds fascinating. Did you have any language barriers while you were there? Not really. Most people spoke English, so it was easy to communicate. That's convenient. It must have made your travels much smoother. Yes, it definitely helped. I could ask for directions and order food without any issues. It's smart to learn a few basic phrases in the local language too, just in case. Absolutely. It shows respect for the local culture and can make interactions more meaningful. I agree. Even simple greetings or thank yous can go a long way. Definitely. It's always a good idea to be prepared when traveling to a new place. I'm glad you had a positive experience and didn't face many language barriers. Thank you. It was a memorable trip, and I can't wait to explore more in the future. Lesson 31, Currency Exchange Hi Anna, have you ever exchanged currency before? I need to do it for my upcoming trip. Hi. Yes, I've exchanged currency before. It's usually best to check which currencies the exchange office accepts. That's a good point. I'll make sure to inquire about that. I hope they accept the currency I have. Most places accept major currencies like US dollars, euros, and British pounds. 
but it's always good to check. I'll keep that in mind. It's important to have the right currency when traveling. Absolutely. It saves you from any inconvenience or extra fees for currency conversion. I'm glad you mentioned it. I'll also ask about any fees or exchange rates they charge. That's smart. It's good to know the rates and fees in advance to avoid surprises. Definitely. I want to make the most out of my money while abroad. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Just remember to be cautious and exchange your money at reputable places. Lesson 32, Gardening Enthusiasm Hi Anna, I've been thinking about starting a small garden. What do you think? Hi there. That's a great idea. Gardening can be so rewarding. I'm excited about growing my own vegetables. I can't wait to pick tomatoes straight from my own garden. Freshly grown vegetables taste amazing. Plus, it's a fun and relaxing hobby. Do you have any tips for a beginner like me? Start with easy-to-grow plants like herbs or lettuce. They're low-maintenance and perfect for beginners. That sounds doable. I'll start small and gradually expand my garden. That's a good approach. It's important to learn as you go and not overwhelm yourself. I'll definitely do some research and learn about soil, watering, and sunlight requirements. That's smart. Each plant has specific needs, so understanding them will help your garden thrive. I can't wait to enjoy the fruits of my labor and taste homegrown vegetables. It's a wonderful feeling. Your own garden will bring you joy and delicious food. Lesson 33, Library Hours Hi Anna, I've been meaning to visit the library. Do you know their operating hours? Hi. It's always good to check the library's hours before going. They might vary. That's true. I don't want to arrive and find it closed. Most libraries have standard hours, like opening around 9 a.m. and closing around 5 or 6 p.m. That's good to know. I usually have free time in the evenings, so I hope it's open then. Some libraries have extended hours on certain days, so you might find one that suits your schedule. I'll check their website or give them a call to confirm their hours. That's a good idea. You can also ask if they're open on Saturdays, as some libraries have limited hours on weekends. I'll make sure to gather all the information I need before planning my library visit. That's the best approach. Enjoy your time at the library and make the most of the resources available. Thank you. I can't wait to explore the books and expand my knowledge. Lesson 34, Cancellation Policy Hi Anna, I booked a hotel for our trip, but I'm worried about the cancellation policy. Hi. Did you check the hotel's cancellation policy before making the reservation? Yes, they have a 24-hour cancellation policy, which seems reasonable. That's good. It gives you some flexibility in case your plans change. Exactly. I'm glad they have that option. It puts my mind at ease. It's always important to read and understand the cancellation policy before making any reservations. I learned that the hard way once. I had to pay a hefty fee for canceling last minute. Oh no, that's unfortunate. It's best to be aware of the policy to avoid any surprises. Lesson learned. From now on, I'll always check the cancellation policy beforehand. That's a wise approach. It helps you make informed decisions and avoid unnecessary expenses. Lesson 35 birthday presents. Hi Anna, have you started shopping for your family's birthday presents? 
Hi there. Yes, I've already started looking for gifts. Birthdays are always a special occasion. That's true. I want to make sure I find something meaningful for each family member. It's the thought that counts. I'm sure they'll appreciate anything you choose with care. I'm thinking of getting my sister a book since she loves reading. Any recommendations? That sounds like a great idea. What genre does she enjoy? I could suggest a few popular titles. She's into mystery novels. If you have any recommendations, I'd appreciate it. How about Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn or The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins? They're both gripping mysteries. Those sound interesting. I'll check them out. Thanks for the suggestions. You're welcome. I'm sure your sister will love whichever book you choose. I hope so. It's always fun to see the excitement on their faces when they open their presents. Lesson 36 Exciting Plans Hi Anna, I've been thinking about planning a weekend getaway. It was fun last time we went on a trip. Hi. That sounds awesome. Where are you thinking of going this time? I'm considering a beach destination. I could use some relaxation and sunshine. That sounds perfect. Beach vacations are always refreshing and enjoyable. I'll definitely pack my swimsuit and sunscreen. Can't wait to soak up the sun. Don't forget a hat and sunglasses too. Sun protection is essential. Good point. I'll make sure to keep that in mind. I want to take care of my skin. It's important to take precautions. Enjoy your time at the beach and have a great trip. Thank you. I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a fantastic weekend. Lesson 37 Pet Friendly Hotels Hi Anna, I'm planning a trip with my pet. Do you know if hotels allow pets? Hi. Yes, many hotels are pet friendly nowadays. You just need to check their policies. That's great to hear. I don't want to leave my furry friend behind. I understand. Some hotels may have restrictions or an additional fee for pets, so it's important to inquire. I don't mind paying a small fee for my pet. Do you know how much it usually is? Yes, there is usually a small fee for pets. It could be around $10 per night or so. That's reasonable. I'll make sure to find a hotel that allows pets and fits my budget. Sounds like a plan. Enjoy your trip with your furry companion. Lesson 38 Versatile Options Hi Anna, I need to find a versatile tool for my DIY projects. Any suggestions? Hi there. A versatile tool is always handy. Have you considered a multi-tool? That sounds good. Where can I find one that suits my needs? You can check hardware stores, online marketplaces, or even specialty tool shops. I'll explore those options. I want a tool that can handle various tasks efficiently. A multi-tool should provide you with a wide range of functions and save you space too. That's exactly what I need. I want something practical and flexible for my projects. I'm sure you'll find a suitable multi-tool soon. Good luck with your search. Lesson 39 Finding a suitable hotel. Hi Anna, I'm having trouble finding a suitable hotel for my upcoming trip. Any advice? Hi John. I can help you with that. What specific requirements are you looking for in a hotel? Definitely. I need a hotel with a good location, comfortable rooms, and reasonable rates. 
you can start by searching online travel websites. They usually have filters to narrow down your options. That's a good idea. I'll make use of those filters to find what I'm looking for. Also, check the reviews and ratings of the hotels you're interested in. They can provide valuable insights. Right. I want to make sure other guests had a positive experience before making a reservation. That's a smart approach. Take your time and compare different options until you find the perfect fit. I will. Thanks for your guidance. I'm determined to find a suitable hotel soon. Lesson 40 Stepping Out of Comfort Zone. Hi, Anna. I've been thinking about stepping out of my comfort zone. Any suggestions? Hi. That's great to hear. Trying new things can be very rewarding. How about learning a musical instrument? Hmm, that's an interesting idea. I've always admired people who can play instruments. It's never too late to start. Playing an instrument can be a wonderful way to express yourself. You're right. It might be challenging at first, but I guess I need to step out of my comfort zone. Absolutely. Embracing new challenges can lead to personal growth and open doors to new opportunities. I like that perspective. I'll look into music lessons and see which instrument resonates with me. That sounds like a plan. Embrace the journey and enjoy the process of learning something new. Thank you for the encouragement. I'm excited to embark on this musical adventure. Lesson 41, Guilty Pleasures, Desserts Hi Anna, I have a confession to make. Desserts are my guilty pleasure. What about you? Hi. Oh, desserts are hard to resist. They're a delightful indulgence. What's your favorite dessert? I absolutely love chocolate lava cake. The warm, gooey center is simply irresistible. Mmm, that sounds delicious. I have a weakness for creamy cheesecake. It's my ultimate guilty pleasure. Cheesecake is amazing. It's so rich and creamy. I can understand why it's your favorite. Indeed. Desserts have a way of creating memories and bringing people together, don't you think? You're absolutely right. Sharing a sweet treat with loved ones is a special experience. It's more than just the taste. It's the joy and happiness that desserts bring to our lives. I couldn't agree more. Indulging in a dessert once in a while is a simple pleasure that makes life sweeter. Lesson 42, Finding Meaning in Life Hi Anna, I've been reflecting on life lately. I want to find meaning in what I do. Any thoughts? Hi there. It's great that you're seeking meaning. What aspects of life do you find most meaningful? I find that meaningful experiences come from helping others and making a positive impact. That's wonderful. Have you considered volunteering or getting involved in community projects? Yes, I think that's a great way to contribute and make a difference in people's lives. It's more meaningful when we can touch the lives of others and create a positive ripple effect. Exactly. It's not just about personal success but also about leaving a positive impact on the world. Absolutely. When we find meaning in what we do, it brings a sense of fulfillment and purpose. I like the idea of a more meaningful life. I'll explore opportunities to make a positive difference. That's fantastic. Embrace the journey and discover the meaningful path that resonates with you. Lesson 43, Embracing Challenges Hi Anna, I've been thinking about stepping out of my comfort zone. Any advice? Hi. That's great to hear. 
embracing new challenges can lead to personal growth and exciting opportunities. I guess I need to push myself and try something different. It can be a bit intimidating though. Absolutely. It's natural to feel that way, but remember that growth happens outside of our comfort zones. You're right. I want to overcome my fears and explore new possibilities. That's the spirit. Start by setting small goals and gradually work your way up to bigger challenges. That sounds like a good approach. I'm looking forward to it, even if it's challenging. Have confidence in yourself and enjoy the journey. You're capable of more than you think. Thank you for the encouragement. I'm excited to embrace new challenges now. Lesson 44 Desserts and Guilty Pleasures Hi Anna, I have a confession to make. Desserts are my guilty pleasure. What about you? Hi John. Oh, I can relate. Desserts are hard to resist. What's your favorite sweet treat? I absolutely love chocolate cake. The rich and indulgent taste is irresistible. Oh, that sounds delicious. I have a weakness for creamy cheesecake. It's my ultimate guilty pleasure. Cheesecake is fantastic too. It's creamy, tangy, and simply heavenly. Indulging in desserts once in a while is a delightful way to treat ourselves, don't you think? Definitely. It creates memories and adds sweetness to life. Desserts are more than just food. I like that perspective. It's more meaningful than just satisfying our sweet cravings. Exactly. It's a small pleasure that brings joy and happiness. Life is too short to skip desserts. I couldn't agree more. Let's enjoy our guilty pleasures and make every bite count. Lesson 45, Exploring Exotic Juices Hi Anna, have you tried those squeezed juices? They have such unique flavors. Hi. Yes, I love exploring different juice flavors. It's a refreshing and healthy alternative. Absolutely. I recently had a blend of pineapple, ginger, and turmeric. It was surprisingly delicious. That sounds intriguing. I enjoy trying combinations like watermelon and mint. It's so refreshing. Oh, that sounds delightful. I'll have to give it a try. Do you have any other recommendations? Definitely. How about a mix of cucumber, lime, and basil? It's a perfect balance of tangy and herbal notes. That sounds interesting. I'll add it to my list. It's fascinating how juices can be so diverse in flavors. Absolutely. It's a great way to discover new fruits, vegetables, and herbs while keeping hydrated. I couldn't agree more. It's like a tasty adventure in every sip. I'm excited to try more exotic juices. Cheers to that. Let's continue exploring and enjoying these unique flavors. Lesson 46, Unexpected Staircase Hi Anna, did you notice that unexpected staircase in the building? Do you think they'll reimburse us for this inconvenience? Hi. Yes, it was quite surprising. I'm not sure if we can expect reimbursement, but it's worth asking. I hope they consider compensating us. Climbing those extra stairs every day can be tiring. I understand. It's an inconvenience, especially for those with mobility issues. We should inquire about it. I'll speak to the building management. It's important to address this issue for everyone's convenience. That's a good idea. They should be aware of the impact it has on the tenants and take necessary actions. Exactly. It's their responsibility to ensure a comfortable living environment for all residents. 
Let's hope they take our concerns seriously and find a solution to this unexpected staircase. Agreed. We deserve a resolution, and it's essential to voice our concerns. I'll keep you updated. Thank you. Let's see how it unfolds and hope for a positive outcome. Lesson 47, Culinary Adventures Hi Anna, have you ever tried any traditional dishes from different countries? Hi John, absolutely. Exploring different cuisines is a delightful way to experience new cultures. What about you? Oh, I had a delicious Portuguese dish the other day. The flavors were incredible. That sounds amazing. Trying traditional dishes allows us to appreciate the diversity of flavors. Definitely. It's like taking a culinary journey without leaving your city. I completely agree. Food connects people and opens doors to new experiences. It's fascinating how each culture has its own unique flavors and cooking techniques. Absolutely. It's a beautiful way to celebrate the richness of our world. I'm inspired to continue trying new dishes and expanding my culinary horizons. That's a wonderful mindset. Let's keep exploring and savoring the world, one dish at a time. Lesson 48, Self-Care and Recharge Hi Anna, we should prioritize ourselves and make time to recharge, don't you think? Hi John, you're right. Taking care of ourselves is essential for our well-being. I often forget to take a break and end up feeling exhausted. Many of us do. It's important to listen to our bodies and give ourselves the rest we need. Absolutely. Self-care allows us to recharge and be more productive in the long run. It's like refilling our energy tanks so we can tackle life's challenges with renewed vigor. I need to start incorporating self-care activities into my daily routine. That's a great idea. Find activities that bring you joy and help you relax. I'll make sure to prioritize self-care from now on. It's time to give myself the attention I deserve. Good for you. Remember, taking care of yourself is not selfish, it's necessary. Thank you. I'm looking forward to a more balanced and rejuvenated life. Lesson 49, Navigating the Building Hi Anna, do you know where the business center is located in this building? Hi John, yes, it's on the ground floor near the reception area. That's convenient. I need to print some documents. Thank you for letting me know. No problem. The business center should have all the equipment you need. That's great to hear. I'll head there right away. By the way, have you had lunch yet? Not yet. I'm feeling hungry too. Let's find a place to eat together. Sounds like a plan. Do you know any good restaurants nearby? Yes, there are plenty of options. Let's explore the area and see what catches our attention. That sounds exciting. I'm up for trying something new. Lead the way. Sure, let's go and satisfy our hunger with some delicious food. Lesson 50, Culinary Exploration Hi Anna, I'm hungry. Where can I find the best local cuisine in this city? Hi John, you're in luck. There are many fantastic options nearby. Let's explore the local food scene. That sounds fantastic. I'm always up for trying new and authentic dishes. Great. There's a street just a few blocks away known for its diverse food stalls. That sounds perfect. I love street food. It's usually packed with flavors and affordable too. Absolutely. You'll find a variety of cuisines from different cultures all in one place. 
I can't wait to indulge in some mouth-watering treats. Do you have any recommendations? Well, there's a stall that serves delicious tacos, and another one famous for its spicy noodles. Yum! Tacos and spicy noodles sound like a winning combination. Let's check them out. Definitely. We'll have a culinary adventure right here on the streets of this vibrant city. I'm excited. Let's go and satisfy our taste buds with these local delights. Lesson 51, Centrally Located Hotels Hi Anna, if we're planning a trip, in that case, it's best to choose a hotel that is centrally located. Hi John, I agree. Being in a central location makes it convenient to explore the city. Absolutely. It saves time and transportation costs, especially if the attractions are within walking distance. Plus, staying in a central area often means having easy access to public transportation. That's a good point. It makes it convenient to travel to places that are a bit farther away. Another advantage is having a variety of dining options nearby. You can easily find restaurants and cafes to suit your taste. That's true. It's nice to have plenty of choices within a short distance. And if you need any amenities or services, being in a central location increases the chances of finding what you need nearby. That's definitely a perk. Whether it's a convenience store, pharmacy, or a tourist information center, it's helpful to have them close by. Exactly. It ensures that you have everything you need within reach, even if you forgot to pack something. It sounds like choosing a centrally located hotel has several advantages. I'll keep that in mind for future trips. It's a great tip to enhance your travel experience. You'll have more time to enjoy the destination and less time spent on commuting. Lesson 52, Charming Seaside Stops Hi Anna, have you ever taken a road trip? Along the way, well, you can stop by charming seaside towns. Hi John, yes, I have. Exploring coastal towns during a road trip can be delightful. I can imagine. The scenic views and the refreshing sea breeze must be wonderful. Absolutely. It's a great opportunity to relax and soak in the coastal atmosphere. Are there any specific seaside towns you recommend visiting? One of my favorites is the town of Charming Seaside. It lives up to its name with its picturesque beaches and quaint streets. That sounds lovely. What activities can you do there? You can take long walks on the beach, enjoy water sports like surfing or paddleboarding, and savor fresh seafood at local restaurants. That sounds like a perfect coastal getaway. Are there any other seaside towns worth visiting? Definitely. Another charming stop is Sunny Bay. It has beautiful sandy beaches and a vibrant coastal culture. What makes Sunny Bay special? Sunny Bay is known for its lively boardwalk, where you can find amusement parks, arcades, and street performers. That sounds like a fun-filled destination. I'll make sure to add it to my road trip itinerary. It's a great place to create memorable experiences and enjoy the vibrant energy of a seaside town. Thank you for sharing these recommendations. I'm excited to explore more coastal towns on my next road trip. You're welcome. Happy travels, and may you discover the hidden gems along the scenic coastal routes. Lesson 53, Exploring a New City Hi Anna, do you know any interesting places to visit in this city? Hi John, absolutely. There's a beautiful park just a few blocks away. That sounds lovely. I enjoy spending time in nature. It's perfect for a morning stroll or an afternoon picnic. Great! What about shopping? Are there any good stores nearby? 
Yes, there's a bustling shopping district a few streets from here. Excellent. I need to buy some souvenirs for my family back home. You'll find a wide variety of shops there, from fashion to electronics. That's perfect. I want to find something unique and memorable. I'm sure you'll find just the right gifts for your loved ones. Thanks for the recommendations. I'm excited to explore the city. No problem. Enjoy your time and have a safe journey through the city. Lesson 54, Making the Most of Your Time Hi Anna, time seems to be flying by. I want to make the most of each day. Hi John, I understand that feeling. What do you have in mind? I want to prioritize my tasks and be more productive. That's a great goal. Have you tried making a to-do list? Yes, but sometimes I get overwhelmed with too many things to do. I see. How about breaking down your tasks into smaller, manageable steps? That might help. I'll try that approach and see if it improves my productivity. Another tip is to eliminate distractions while working. Ah, yes. I often get sidetracked by notifications on my phone. Try putting your phone on silent mode or using productivity apps to stay focused. That's a good idea. I'll do that and see if it makes a difference. Remember to take short breaks too. Resting can actually improve your efficiency. You're right. I'll incorporate regular breaks into my schedule. Great. I'm sure with these strategies, you'll make the most of your time. Thanks for the advice. I'm determined to be more productive from now on. Lesson 55, Motivating Each Other Hi Anna, I have a big sales presentation coming up. I'm feeling a bit nervous. Hi John, I understand how you feel, but remember, we can do it. You're right. Let's give it our best shot and show them what we're capable of. Absolutely. We have the skills and knowledge to make this happen. I appreciate your confidence. It's inspiring to have such a supportive team. We're all in this together. Let's make those sales happen. I'm glad we have a positive mindset. It will make a difference in our performance. Definitely. Stay focused, believe in yourself, and let's make it a success. Thanks for the encouragement. I'm ready to go out there and give it my all. Lesson 56, Expressing Interest in a Product Hi Anna, I wanted to talk to you about a product I came across. I think it could be beneficial for our company. Hi John, that sounds intriguing. Tell me more about it. It's a cutting-edge software that can streamline our operations and increase efficiency. That's great to hear. We really value innovative solutions that can help us move forward. Exactly. This product has all the features we need, and it comes highly recommended. I'm glad you're exploring options that can benefit our company. What are the next steps? I'm planning to schedule a demo for the team to see the product in action. That's a good idea. Let's gather feedback from everyone and evaluate its potential. Agreed. I'll reach out to the sales representative and set up the demo. Keep me updated. I'm excited to learn more about this product and its benefits. Will do. I believe it has the potential to make a significant impact on our operations. Lesson 57, Post-Workout Recovery Hi Anna, I've been hitting the gym regularly, but I often experience muscle stiffness afterward. Hi John, I can relate. Muscle stiffness is common after intense workouts. 
Any advice on how to prevent or reduce it? Stretching before and after your workout can help. It's a smart move to include it in your routine. I'll make sure to incorporate stretching into my fitness regimen. What else can I do? Using a foam roller or getting a sports massage can also help with recovery. That's a good idea. I'll give it a try and see if it makes a difference. Additionally, make sure you're properly hydrating and getting enough rest. Hydration and rest, got it. I'll pay more attention to those factors. Great. Taking care of your body after a workout will help you avoid muscle stiffness. Thanks for the tips. I'm determined to recover better and keep pushing forward. Lesson 58, Choosing a Cozy Cafe Hi Anna, I'm looking for a nice cafe to relax and do some work. Any recommendations? Hi John, I know a charming cafe nearby that has a cozy atmosphere. That sounds perfect. I enjoy working in a comfortable environment. This cafe has a great ambience, and their coffee is top-notch. Excellent. I need a good cup of coffee to keep me focused. They also have a variety of delicious pastries and snacks if you get hungry. That's a definite plus. I like having options for a quick bite. You'll love the cozy seating arrangements and the natural light that fills the cafe. It sounds like a delightful place. I'm excited to check it out. Enjoy your time there. I'm sure it'll be a productive and relaxing experience. Lesson 59, Starting a Knitting Project Hi Anna, I recently came across knitting and I'm intrigued. Have you ever tried it? Hi John, yes, I love knitting. It's a great way to relax and be creative. That's wonderful. I can't wait to learn and start knitting. Any tips for beginners? Definitely. Start with simple projects like a scarf or a dishcloth to practice basic stitches. That sounds manageable. I like the idea of starting small and building up my skills. It's important to choose the right yarn and needles for your project, so make sure you put thought into it. I'll keep that in mind. Are there any specific resources or tutorials you recommend? There are many online tutorials and videos that can guide you step by step. I can share some links with you. That would be fantastic. I appreciate your help in getting started. No problem at all. Just remember to be patient with yourself and enjoy the process. I will. I'm excited to dive into this new hobby and see what I can create. Lesson 60, Finding a Substitute Product Hi Anna, I went to the store to buy my favorite brand of cereal, but they were out of stock. Hi John, that's disappointing. Did you find a substitute? Yes, I bought a different brand, hoping it would be a good alternative. Sometimes trying new brands can lead to pleasant surprises. How did it turn out? It's not exactly the same, but it's still delicious. I think I can get used to it. That's great to hear. It's always good to have options and be open to trying new things. Absolutely. It's important to adapt and find alternatives when needed. And who knows, you might discover a new favorite in the process. That's true. I'm glad I didn't leave empty-handed and found something to enjoy. Keep exploring. You never know what other hidden gems you might come across. I will. Thanks for the encouragement. It's all about embracing change and making the best of it. Lesson 61, Language Learning Tips Hi Anna, I've been learning a new language, but sometimes I struggle with translations. 
Hi John, I understand. Translations can be tricky. Have you tried using a translation app or dictionary? Yes, I carry a translation app with me, but it's not always reliable. Any suggestions? One tip is to focus on learning key phrases and common vocabulary to make communication easier. That sounds like a good approach. It's important to be able to express basic needs and understand simple conversations. Absolutely. Building a strong foundation will help you navigate through everyday situations. I'll keep that in mind. Are there any other language learning strategies you recommend? Immersion is key. Try to surround yourself with the language by listening to music, watching movies, or practicing with native speakers. That sounds fun. I'll make an effort to expose myself to the language more often. Great. Remember, learning a language is a journey, so be patient and enjoy the process. Thank you. I appreciate your advice. I'm determined to become fluent in this language. Lesson 62, Weekend Getaway Plans Hi Anna, I've been feeling a bit stressed lately and was considering a weekend getaway. Any recommendations? Hi John, taking a break sounds like a great idea. Where were you thinking of going? I'm open to suggestions. Do you have any favorite destinations for a quick getaway? How about a cozy cabin in the mountains? It's a perfect escape from the hustle and bustle of city life. That sounds amazing. Being surrounded by nature and enjoying some peace and quiet sounds like a dream. It's a refreshing experience. Plus, you can go hiking, have a picnic or simply relax and unwind. I'm sold. I need some time to recharge and reconnect with nature. I'm glad I could help. Just make sure to plan ahead and check for any travel restrictions or guidelines. Absolutely. Safety first. I'll do my research and start planning this weekend getaway. Enjoy your trip. It'll be a wonderful opportunity to rejuvenate and come back feeling refreshed. Thank you. I'm already looking forward to it. Lesson 63, Exploring Options Hi Anna, I've been considering a few options for the weekend. What are you thinking? Hi there. I'm not sure yet. I want to do something fun and different. Any suggestions? How about visiting a local amusement park? It's always exciting and full of thrill rides. That sounds like a lot of fun. I haven't been to an amusement park in ages. It's a great way to let loose and enjoy some adrenaline pumping attractions. Absolutely. Plus, we can try different games and indulge in delicious carnival food. I'm already imagining the cotton candy and roller coasters. It'll be a memorable day. Count me in. Let's plan the details and make sure we don't miss any must-ride attractions. Definitely. I'll check the park's website for opening hours and ticket prices. Sounds like a plan. I can't wait to spend an exciting day at the amusement park with you. Lesson 64, Staying Connected Hi Anna, staying connected is crucial these days. It's frustrating when the battery is low. Hello. I completely agree. Having a low battery can be quite inconvenient, especially when you need your phone. I've started carrying a portable charger with me. It's been a lifesaver in many situations. That's a smart move. A portable charger ensures you can recharge your devices on the go. Definitely. It's a small investment that provides peace of mind, especially during long journeys. Another tip is to optimize your phone's battery usage by closing unnecessary apps and reducing screen brightness. 
Good point. Managing app usage and adjusting settings can help conserve battery life. Additionally, you could consider enabling power saving mode or using airplane mode when you don't need an internet connection. Those are helpful suggestions. I'll make sure to implement them to extend my battery life. Great. With these tips, you'll be able to stay connected and avoid the frustration of a low battery. Thank you. I appreciate your advice. It's always good to have strategies for such situations. Lesson 65, Appreciating Suggestions Hi Anna, I appreciate your suggestions on improving my presentation skills. Hi there. It's my pleasure to help. Presentations can be nerve-wracking, but with practice, you'll do great. Thank you for your encouragement. I'll definitely put in the effort to improve my delivery. That's the spirit. Remember to speak clearly and maintain eye contact with your audience. Yes, those are important aspects. I'll also work on using visual aids effectively to enhance understanding. Excellent. Visual aids can make a presentation more engaging and help convey information visually. Absolutely. I'll make sure to choose relevant and impactful visuals to support my points. That's a wise approach. Additionally, try to vary your tone and pace to keep your audience attentive. Good point. I'll practice modulating my voice to add emphasis and maintain interest throughout. Great. Just let me know if you need any further guidance or if you'd like to practice together. Thank you. I appreciate your support, and I'll definitely reach out if I need more assistance. Lesson 66, Exploring Thailand Hi Anna, have you heard about Thailand's stunning temples and vibrant markets? Hi there. That's true. Thailand is known for its rich cultural heritage and bustling markets. I've always wanted to visit. The intricate architecture of the temples must be awe-inspiring. Absolutely. The temples, like Wat Arun and Wat Phra Kheu, are architectural marvels. I can imagine the beauty and tranquility of those sacred places. It's definitely a must-see. And let's not forget about the vibrant markets like Chattachak and Dam Non Saduak. I've heard they offer a wide variety of local handicrafts, souvenirs, and delicious street food. That's true. Exploring the markets is a feast for the senses, with the sights, sounds, and aromas. It sounds like a perfect blend of cultural immersion and culinary adventure. Indeed. Thailand has so much to offer. It's a destination that caters to diverse interests. I can't wait to experience it all firsthand. Thailand is definitely on my travel bucket list. Lesson 67, Meeting Point Decision Hi Anna, I was thinking, okay, should we meet there or go together from our place? Hi. That's a good question. Let's consider the options and decide what works best for us. Absolutely. Meeting there might be more convenient if it's a central location accessible to both of us. That's true. It could save us time and effort, especially if the place is closer to you or me. On the other hand, going together from one of our places can be more enjoyable. We can chat on the way and share the journey. I agree. It can be a great opportunity to catch up and spend some quality time together. Plus, traveling together ensures that we won't get lost or have trouble finding the location. That's a valid point. It's always reassuring to have someone by your side, especially in unfamiliar areas. However, going together might require coordinating our schedules and transportation arrangements. That's something we should consider. We need to make sure our plans align and that we have a convenient mode of transportation. That's true. 
We can explore options like carpooling, public transportation, or even taking a taxi together. It's important to find a balance between convenience and companionship. Let's weigh the pros and cons before making a decision. Agreed. We should consider factors like distance, time, and our individual preferences. Absolutely. It's best to avoid excessive complications and choose an option that suits both of us. I'm glad we're discussing this. It helps us plan effectively and ensures a smooth and enjoyable experience. Indeed. Planning ahead and making thoughtful decisions enhance our overall experience. Let's finalize our meeting point soon. Lesson 68, Balancing Work and Leisure Hi Anna, I've been working long hours lately. Do you think it's important to find a balance between work and leisure? Hi there. Absolutely. It's crucial to maintain a healthy work-life balance for overall well-being. I agree. Excessive work can lead to burnout and affect our physical and mental health. That's true. Taking breaks and engaging in leisure activities can help recharge and increase productivity. I've been neglecting leisure time lately. Any suggestions on how to incorporate it into a busy schedule? Well, you can start by setting aside specific time slots for activities you enjoy, like hobbies or spending time with loved ones. That sounds reasonable. I'll make a conscious effort to prioritize leisure and create boundaries around work. Excellent. Remember, a balanced life leads to greater happiness and fulfillment in the long run. I couldn't agree more. It's important to take care of ourselves and find joy outside of work. Absolutely. So, let's make sure to find that equilibrium between work and leisure in our lives. Lesson 69, Shopping Experience Hi Anna, I went to the mall yesterday. It was crowded but manageable. Any good deals or discounts? Hi there. Yes, shopping malls can get busy. I didn't find any specific deals, but there were some discounts on clothing. That's good to know. How long does it usually take you to finish a piece of clothing when you go shopping? It depends on the complexity, but I'd say around 30 minutes to an hour. I like to take my time and try things on. That sounds reasonable. I tend to be quicker when I shop, but it's always good to try things on before buying. Absolutely, trying on clothes ensures a proper fit and avoids any disappointment later on. I agree. It's better to be sure about the size and how it looks before making a purchase. Definitely. So, next time you go shopping, take your time and enjoy the experience. You might find some great deals. I will, thanks for the advice. Shopping can be fun when you have the right approach. Lesson 70, Time for Art Hi Anna, how long does it usually take you to finish a painting? I'm curious about the creative process. Hi there. The time it takes to finish a painting varies. It depends on the complexity, size, and my inspiration at the moment. That makes sense. Do you have a rough estimate for a medium-sized painting? For a medium-sized painting, it can take me anywhere from a few days to a couple of weeks. Wow, that's quite a commitment. I admire your dedication and patience. Thank you. Art is a labor of love, and I enjoy every step of the process, even if it takes time. That's a wonderful perspective. It's important to enjoy the journey rather than rushing to the finish line. Absolutely, the creative process is as valuable as the final result. It's all about the joy of creating. I agree wholeheartedly. I'll keep that in mind as I explore my own creative endeavors. That's fantastic. 
Embrace the process and let your creativity flow. You'll create something beautiful. Lesson 71, Exploring Tokyo Hi Anna, I recently visited Tokyo, and it was an incredible experience. Oh, I've always wanted to visit Tokyo. Hi there. That's amazing. How was your trip? I'm curious about the food and the culture. The trip was fantastic. The food in Tokyo is diverse and delicious. I tried sushi, ramen, and even street food. That sounds incredible. I've heard that Tokyo is a food lover's paradise. Did you have any favorite dishes? It's hard to pick just one, but I really enjoyed the fresh sushi at the local fish markets. The flavors were exquisite. I can imagine. The seafood in Japan is renowned for its quality. I'd love to try it someday. You should definitely plan a trip to Tokyo. The food alone is worth it, not to mention the rich culture and stunning sights. I'll keep that in mind. It's always fascinating to explore new places and experience different cuisines. Absolutely. If you ever decide to go, let me know. I can give you some recommendations and even come with you. That would be wonderful. Exploring Tokyo together sounds like an adventure I don't want to miss. Lesson 72, Shopping Assistance Hi Anna, I need to buy a new suit for an upcoming event. Can you come with me to help you find the perfect one? Hi there. Of course, I'd love to help you find the perfect suit. When do you plan to go shopping? I was thinking of going this weekend. It would be great to have your opinion and guidance. That works for me. Let's make a plan and go to a few different stores to explore the options. That sounds like a plan. I appreciate your help. I'm not very knowledgeable about fashion, so having you there will be a great help. Don't worry, I'll assist you in finding a suit that suits your style and fits you perfectly. We'll make sure you look sharp. Thank you so much for your support. I value your fashion sense, and I know you'll help me make the right choice. You're welcome. It's my pleasure to assist you. Shopping for a suit can be fun, and we'll make it a successful outing. I'm looking forward to it. Let's meet this Saturday and make it a productive and enjoyable shopping trip. Lesson 73, Effortless Cooking Hi Anna, have you ever used a slow cooker? I've heard it's great for cooking meals with minimal effort. Hi there. Yes, I have. Slow cookers are fantastic for busy days when you want a delicious meal without spending hours in the kitchen. That sounds perfect. I'm always looking for time-saving cooking methods. How does a slow cooker work? A slow cooker is a countertop appliance that uses low, steady heat to cook food slowly over several hours. You simply add the ingredients, set the temperature, and let it do the work. That sounds incredibly convenient. What types of dishes can you make with a slow cooker? You can make a wide variety of dishes, such as soups, stews, roasts, and even desserts. The slow cooking process helps develop rich flavors and tenderizes meats. That's amazing. It seems like a slow cooker would be a great addition to my kitchen. I'll definitely give it a try. I highly recommend it. It's a fantastic tool for busy individuals who still want to enjoy homemade, flavorful meals. Lesson 74, Questioning the Status Quo Hi Anna, it seems like there are protests happening all around the world. People are not afraid to challenge the status quo. Hi there. Yes, it's true. Protests have become a powerful way for people to voice their concerns and demand change. Do you think these protests will lead to significant transformations in society? 
It's hard to say for sure, but history has shown that protests can indeed bring about substantial social and political changes. That's true. It's inspiring to see people standing up for what they believe in and advocating for a better future. Absolutely. Protests can raise awareness, spark conversations, and put pressure on authorities to address important issues. It's fascinating how collective action can have such a profound impact on society. The power of unity is remarkable. Indeed. When people come together with a common purpose, they can create positive change and shape the world around them. Let's hope that these protests lead to meaningful progress and a more inclusive and just society for everyone. Absolutely. It's important to support causes we believe in and contribute to positive change in any way we can. Lesson 75, Car Troubles Hi Anna, guess what happened today inside the car while it was still running? Oops. Hi. Oh no, what happened? How did you solve that situation? Well, I accidentally locked the keys inside the car and the doors were locked too. It was quite a predicament. Oh wow, that's unfortunate. How did you manage to get out of that situation? Luckily, I had a spare key hidden nearby. It was a relief to find it and unlock the car. That's fortunate. It's always a good idea to have a spare key hidden somewhere safe, just in case. Absolutely. It saved me from a lot of hassle and waiting for a locksmith to arrive. It's important to be prepared for unexpected situations, especially when it comes to our vehicles. Definitely. It taught me the importance of being cautious and double-checking before leaving the car. It's a valuable lesson. We should always make sure we have everything we need before we leave or board any vehicle. Right. It's better to be safe than sorry. Checking for keys, wallets, and other essentials can save us a lot of trouble. I completely agree. It's better to take a few extra moments to ensure we have everything than to regret it later. Exactly. It's those little actions that can make a big difference in our day-to-day -day lives. Absolutely. Let's make it a habit to double-check and be mindful of our belongings before we head out. Sounds like a plan. Being organized and prepared will help us avoid unnecessary stress and inconvenience. Lesson 76, Preparing for the Journey Hi Anna, I'm excited about our upcoming trip. Are you ready? Hi. Yes, I'm excited too. Let's make sure we have everything before we board. Absolutely. We should have a checklist to ensure we don't forget any important items. That's a great idea. We can start by making a list of essentials like passports, tickets, and identification. Right. It's crucial to have all the necessary travel documents in order before we embark on our journey. We should also pack appropriate clothing, toiletries, and any medications we might need. Definitely. It's important to pack according to the weather forecast and the activities we have planned. Additionally, we should consider any electronic devices or chargers we might need during the trip. Good point. It's essential to have our devices charged and ready for use especially if we'll be relying on them for navigation or communication. We should also remember to bring some entertainment for the journey, like books, music, or games. Absolutely. It helps to have something to keep us occupied during long flights or road trips. Lastly, let's not forget to check if we need any adapters or converters for the electrical outlets at our destination. That's a crucial reminder. It's better to be prepared and have the necessary adapters to use our electronic devices abroad. Agreed. With a well-prepared checklist, we can ensure a smooth and enjoyable journey.
Let's go through the list together and make sure we have everything we need. Adventure awaits. Lesson 77, Weekend Plans Hi Anna, I heard you're going hiking this weekend. Sure, I can join you. What time do you plan to go? Hi. That's great. I was thinking of starting around 9 a.m. The weather forecast looks perfect for a day outdoors. Sounds good to me. Should we meet at the trailhead or carpool together? Let's meet at the trailhead. It's easier since we live close to each other. I'll send you the location. Perfect. I'll make sure to pack some snacks and water for the hike. How long do you think it will take? The trail is about five miles round trip, so I estimate it will take us around three to four hours, including breaks. That sounds manageable. I'm excited to explore the trail and enjoy some fresh air. Is there anything else I should bring? Comfortable hiking shoes and sunscreen would be essential. Also, don't forget your camera. The views are stunning. Noted. I'll be prepared. Thanks for organizing this hike. It's going to be a fantastic weekend adventure. Lesson 78, Catching a Flight Hi Anna, I have some exciting news. Okay, I have a flight to catch in two hours. Can we meet up for a quick coffee before I leave? Hi. Congratulations on your upcoming trip. Of course, I can meet you for coffee. Where would you like to meet? There's a coffee shop near the airport. It's convenient for me. How about meeting there in about 30 minutes? Sounds good. I'll be there. Is there anything specific you want to talk about before your trip? I'd love to hear about any travel tips you have. Since you've traveled extensively, I'm sure you have some valuable advice. Absolutely. I'll share my experiences and give you some helpful tips for a smooth journey. I'm sure you'll have a great time. That would be fantastic. I appreciate your insights. I'm feeling a mix of excitement and nervousness about the trip. It's completely normal to feel that way. Traveling can be both thrilling and a bit overwhelming. Just embrace the adventure. Thanks for the encouragement. I'm looking forward to this new experience. Let's meet for coffee and chat before I take off. Lesson 79, Adventure Plans Hi Anna, I've been thinking about our next adventure. Definitely, I want to try rock climbing on our next trip. Hi. That sounds exhilarating. I'm up for the challenge. Rock climbing would be a thrilling experience. Where should we go? How about exploring a mountainous region? I've heard there are some amazing rock climbing spots in the nearby national park. Great idea. Mountains offer breathtaking views and diverse climbing routes. We can immerse ourselves in nature while enjoying the adventure. Absolutely. It's an excellent opportunity to push our limits and conquer new heights. We'll need to prepare and have the right gear, though. Definitely. Safety is crucial. We should research the equipment we need and perhaps take a beginner's rock climbing course beforehand. That's a smart approach. Learning the proper techniques and safety procedures will make our experience more enjoyable and secure. Once we gain some experience, we can tackle more challenging routes. It'll be an exciting journey of growth and conquering our fears. I couldn't agree more. I'm looking forward to embarking on this rock climbing adventure with you. It will be an unforgettable experience. Lesson 80, Choosing a Destination Hi Anna, I've been thinking about our next trip. Definitely, first, decide on your destination. What kind of place are you in the mood for? Hi. 
I'm open to different options. How about a beach destination? I could use some relaxation and sun after a busy month. That sounds refreshing. We can soak up the sun, go for long walks on the beach, and enjoy the sound of the waves. Any specific location in mind? I've heard great things about a tropical island that's known for its pristine beaches and vibrant marine life. It's a popular tourist spot. That sounds perfect. We can explore the coral reefs, try snorkeling, and indulge in delicious seafood. It'll be a paradise getaway. Absolutely. We can also take a boat tour to nearby islands and discover secluded beaches. It's an opportunity to escape and unwind. I'm excited about the idea. Let's start researching the island, accommodations, and activities. We should plan our itinerary in advance. Definitely. Planning ahead will help us make the most of our time there and ensure we don't miss out on any must-see attractions. Agreed. It's going to be an amazing trip filled with relaxation, adventure, and beautiful sights. I can't wait to explore with you. Lesson 81, Global Trade Opportunities Hi Anna, it's great that barriers are being lifted for trade. It will expand market opportunities for businesses. Hi. Absolutely, increased trade can lead to economic growth and create new avenues for businesses to thrive. It's exciting to think about the possibilities. With fewer restrictions, companies can access larger customer bases and explore international markets. Definitely. They can tap into new consumer preferences and offer their products or services to a much broader audience. This expansion can also foster innovation and competition. Businesses will strive to improve their offerings to stay ahead in the global market. You're right. Competition can drive companies to innovate, resulting in better products, lower prices, and improved customer experiences. It's a win-win situation for both businesses and consumers. More options and increased competition lead to better choices and value for customers. Absolutely. Consumers can benefit from a wider range of products at competitive prices, while businesses can grow and expand their reach. This global trade landscape opens up exciting prospects for entrepreneurs and creates opportunities for economic development worldwide. Indeed. It's an exciting time to witness the interconnectedness of economies and how trade can shape the future of business. Lesson 82 Exploring Outdoor Activities Hi Anna, have you ever tried picnics and outdoor activities? I've heard they're a great way to enjoy nature and unwind. Hi. Yes, I love spending time outdoors. Picnics are a fantastic way to relax, soak up the sun, and have a delightful meal amidst nature. That sounds lovely. I've seen some beautiful parks nearby. We should plan a picnic and enjoy the scenic views while savoring delicious food. I'm up for it. It'll be a refreshing change of scenery. We can pack some sandwiches, fruits, and snacks to make it a delightful experience. Absolutely. We can also engage in outdoor activities like frisbee, badminton, or even go for a leisurely hike to explore the surroundings. That sounds like a lot of fun. Outdoor activities not only keep us active but also allow us to appreciate the beauty of nature firsthand. I agree. Being in nature has a calming effect on the mind and helps us rejuvenate. It's a wonderful way to escape the hustle and bustle of daily life. I'll have to check out the nearby parks and see if they offer any additional amenities or recreational facilities. That's a great idea. Researching the park facilities will help us make the most of our outdoor adventure. Let's plan for a perfect day amidst nature. Lesson 83, Learning Together Hi Anna, learning English is such an exciting journey. I hope so. It's always more motivating to learn with others too. 
Hi. Absolutely, learning together creates a sense of community and provides opportunities for collaboration and shared progress. Learning in a group allows us to exchange ideas, practice conversations, and support each other's language development. Definitely. We can engage in discussions, ask questions, and learn from different perspectives, which enhances our overall learning experience. It's also beneficial to have study partners who can hold us accountable and keep us motivated on days when learning feels challenging. You're right. Encouragement and support from peers can make a significant difference in our language learning journey. Additionally, studying with others allows us to practice real-life scenarios and improve our language skills in a practical context. Absolutely. Role-playing conversations or engaging in group activities can simulate real-world situations and help us become more confident in using English. Learning together also opens doors to cultural exchange. We can learn about different customs, traditions, and perspectives from our fellow learners. That's true. Language and culture are intertwined, and exploring different cultures enriches our understanding and appreciation of the world. Let's find opportunities to connect with other English learners, join language exchange programs, or even form study groups to enhance our learning journey. Great idea. Together, we can create a supportive and engaging environment that fosters growth and progress in our English language skills. Lesson 84, Exploring the City. Hi Anna, have you ever taken a ride downtown? It takes about 30 minutes from here. Hi. No, I haven't had the chance yet. Exploring the city sounds exciting. I'd love to see what downtown has to offer. It's definitely worth a visit. Downtown is vibrant with various attractions, restaurants, and cultural sites to explore. That sounds amazing. I enjoy immersing myself in the local culture and experiencing the energy of city life. You'll love it. The downtown area offers a mix of modern architecture, historical landmarks, and bustling streets filled with shops and cafes. I'm looking forward to discovering hidden gems and trying out local cuisine. Are there any particular places you recommend? There's a fantastic museum downtown that showcases the city's history and art. It's a must visit for anyone interested in the local culture. That sounds fascinating. I'll make sure to add it to my list. Are there any parks or green spaces nearby as well? Absolutely. There's a beautiful park with walking trails and a lake not too far from downtown. It's a great place to unwind and enjoy nature. That sounds like a perfect combination, exploring the city and finding moments of relaxation in nature. I can't wait to go downtown. I'm excited for you to experience it. Let's plan our trip and make the most of our time exploring the city's vibrant atmosphere. Lesson 85, Gelato Delights. Hi Anna, have you ever tried authentic gelato? While you're there, it's a must try. Hi. Oh, that sounds delicious. I've heard great things about gelato. Is it easy to find in the city? Definitely. You can find gelato shops scattered throughout the city. They offer a wide variety of flavors and toppings. That's fantastic. I can't wait to indulge in some creamy gelato. Any recommendations on flavors I should try? Pistachio and hazelnut are classic flavors that are incredibly popular. They have a rich and distinct taste. Those flavors sound delightful. I'll make sure to try them. Are there any other unique flavors that you recommend? Absolutely. Lemon basil and straxiatella are unique flavors that offer a refreshing and indulgent experience. Lemon basil sounds intriguing. I enjoy trying new and adventurous flavors. I'll definitely give it a try. You won't be disappointed. Gelato is known for its smooth and creamy texture, 
making every bite a true delight. I'm getting more excited to try it now. I'll make sure to savor each flavor and enjoy the gelato experience to the fullest. Lesson 86, Creating an Inspiring Space Hi Anna, when it comes to decorating your living space, have you considered adding plants and personal touches that inspire you? Hi. Yes, I believe incorporating greenery and personal elements can make a space feel more vibrant and reflective of one's personality. Absolutely. Plants not only add a touch of nature indoors but also improve air quality and create a calming atmosphere. That's true. I've noticed that being surrounded by plants can enhance my mood and overall well-being. It's fascinating how nature has a way of positively impacting our mental state. Adding personal touches, such as artwork or photographs, can also create a sense of comfort and nostalgia. I completely agree. Seeing familiar images and objects that hold sentimental value can make a space feel more like home. Additionally, incorporating elements that inspire you, such as motivational quotes or a vision board, can serve as daily reminders of your goals and aspirations. That's a great idea. Having visual cues that align with our dreams and aspirations can help us stay focused and motivated. It's all about creating an environment that nurtures and energizes us. By surrounding ourselves with things we love, we can cultivate a space that truly reflects our individuality. Definitely. I'm excited to explore different ways to personalize my living space and make it a reflection of my unique style and interests. Lesson 87, Departure Gate Hi Anna, do you know what gate my flight is departing from? Hi. Let me check. I believe your flight is departing from gate 13. I'll double check to make sure. Thank you. I appreciate your help in finding the gate information. No problem at all. It's always good to be prepared and know where to go for your flight. Absolutely. It can be stressful if you're not sure about the gate. I'm glad you could assist me. I'm happy to help. Is there anything else you need to know about your flight? No, that's all for now. I'll head to gate 13 and make sure to arrive on time. Have a safe trip. I hope you have a pleasant journey. Thank you. I'll see you when I return. Lesson 88, Travel Plans Hi Anna, I've been thinking about traveling. That sounds exciting. Where are you thinking of going? Hi. I'm considering visiting Paris. It's been on my bucket list for a long time. Paris is a wonderful choice. The city is known for its beautiful architecture, rich history, and delicious cuisine. Yes, I've heard so many great things about it. I'm particularly excited to see the Eiffel Tower and explore the charming neighborhoods. You'll have a fantastic time. Don't forget to try some authentic French pastries and coffee while you're there. They're simply delightful. That's definitely on my list. I'm looking forward to indulging in some croissants and macarons. Another must-visit spot in Paris is the Louvre Museum. It houses some of the world's most famous artworks, including the Mona Lisa. Oh, I can't wait to immerse myself in the art and culture. I'll make sure to allocate enough time to explore the museum thoroughly. Paris is a city that offers so much to see and do. I'm excited for you and hope you have an incredible experience. Thank you. I'll make sure to share my travel stories and photos with you when I return. Lesson 89, Budget Check Hi Anna, I found this amazing jacket. It's priced at $40. Is that within your budget? Hi. $40 sounds reasonable. I can definitely consider it. What does the jacket look like? It's a stylish black leather jacket with a slim fit. 
I think it would suit you perfectly. That sounds tempting. I'll have to see if it matches my style and if it's worth the price. Take your time to decide. It's always good to make sure a purchase aligns with your preferences and budget. Absolutely. I don't want to splurge on something that I might not wear often. Wise decision. Let me know if you need any more information about the jacket or if you want me to help you find other options. Thank you. I appreciate your assistance. I'll keep you updated on my decision. Lesson 90, Saturday Plans Hey, are you free on Saturday? Yes, I am. Why? Any plans? I was thinking we could go hiking. The weather forecast seems perfect for an outdoor adventure. That sounds fantastic. I'm always up for some time in nature. Which trail are you considering? I heard about a beautiful trail in the nearby mountains. It offers stunning views of the valley and a refreshing waterfall. Count me in. I'll pack some snacks and water for the hike. What time should we meet? Let's meet at the trailhead at 9 a.m. That should give us enough time to enjoy the hike and be back before it gets too late. Sounds like a plan. I'm excited about the hike and spending a fun day outdoors with you. It will be a great opportunity to relax, enjoy nature, and have some quality time together. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. It's going to be an amazing Saturday. Lesson 91, Overcoming Fears Hi Anna, I recently faced one of my fears. I have a fear of heights, but I went ziplining last month. Hi. That's impressive. Overcoming fears can be challenging but rewarding. How was the experience? It was exhilarating. Once I let go of my fear and took that leap, it was an incredible feeling soaring through the air. I can relate. I also have a fear of heights, but I've been considering trying something adventurous to conquer it. That's great to hear. Stepping out of your comfort zone can lead to personal growth and new experiences. Absolutely. It's inspiring to hear about your ziplining adventure. It motivates me to face my fears as well. I'm glad I could inspire you. Remember, taking small steps and having a supportive environment can make a big difference. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind as I plan my own fear-conquering adventure. Lesson 92, Trying on Clothes Hi Anna, I found a jacket that's water-resistant and looks perfect for your upcoming trip. Can I try it on? Hi. That sounds great. Trying it on will give you a better idea of how it fits and if it suits you. Exactly. It's always important to try on clothes before making a purchase, especially when it comes to jackets. I couldn't agree more. The fit and comfort are crucial factors to consider when buying new clothes. Here you go. Take your time trying it on and let me know your thoughts. Thank you. The material feels nice, and it looks great on me. I think I'll go ahead and buy it. I'm glad it fits well and meets your expectations. It's important to find clothing that makes you feel confident and comfortable. Absolutely. I appreciate your assistance in finding this jacket. It will be perfect for my trip. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help you find what you were looking for. Enjoy your new jacket. Lesson 93, Dressing for the Occasion Hi Anna, have you ever been in a situation where you're wearing a suit jacket, but it's extremely hot and you can remove it? Hi. Yes, I've experienced that before. It can be quite uncomfortable when the weather is sweltering. Definitely. So, what do you think is the appropriate thing to do in such a situation? 
Well, if it's a formal setting and removing the jacket would be considered inappropriate, you can try to endure the heat. That's true. It's important to maintain a professional appearance, even if it means sacrificing some comfort. However, if it's a more casual event or you have the flexibility to adjust your attire, you can definitely take off the jacket. That's a good point. Sometimes, it's better to prioritize comfort and adapt to the circumstances. Absolutely. It's all about finding the right balance between looking presentable and feeling at ease. I agree. It's essential to be mindful of the environment and dress accordingly to ensure our comfort and confidence. And if you do decide to remove the jacket, it's a good idea to fold it neatly and keep it nearby, just in case. That's a great tip. Being prepared and organized can make a difference in how we handle unexpected situations. Definitely. It's always better to be prepared for any scenario and make adjustments as needed. I couldn't agree more. Dressing appropriately and being adaptable are valuable skills in various social settings. Lesson 94, Reaching Agreement Hi Anna, I've been thinking about our upcoming project. I believe we need to reach a mutually beneficial agreement. Hi. I completely agree. It's important for both parties to feel satisfied and have their needs met. Exactly. So, let's discuss our goals and expectations openly to find common ground. That sounds like a good approach. Effective communication is key to understanding each other's perspectives. Absolutely. We should actively listen to each other and be willing to compromise if necessary. Agreed. It's essential to consider different viewpoints and find solutions that work for both of us. It's also important to be respectful and professional throughout the negotiation process. Definitely. Maintaining a positive and collaborative attitude can help us overcome any potential conflicts. That's great to hear. I believe by working together and finding a middle ground, we can achieve great results. I share the same optimism. Collaboration and cooperation will lead us to a successful outcome. I'll get back to you with some proposals and suggestions. Let's continue this discussion and find the best way forward. Sounds good. I look forward to reviewing your ideas and working towards a mutually beneficial agreement. Excellent. Let's keep the lines of communication open and make this a productive and rewarding collaboration. Lesson 95, Staying Active Hi Anna, I hope you've been staying active. Exercise is important for maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Hi there. Yes, I've been trying to incorporate exercise into my daily routine. It helps me feel energized. That's great to hear. What kind of activities have you been doing to stay active? I enjoy going for long walks and practicing yoga. It's a good combination of cardio and flexibility training. Excellent choices. Walking and yoga are great for overall fitness and relaxation. Thank you. It's important to find activities that you enjoy and that keep you motivated to stay active. Absolutely. Variety is key to keep things interesting and prevent boredom. I completely agree. Trying new activities can also be a fun way to challenge yourself and discover new interests. Definitely. Keep up the good work. Stay active and enjoy the benefits of a healthy lifestyle. Lesson 96, Hotel Stay and Room Service Hi Anna, how's your stay at the hotel going? Have you tried the room service? Hi. The hotel is lovely, and the room is comfortable. I haven't tried the room service yet. Have you? Yes, I ordered breakfast through room service this morning. It was convenient and delicious. 
That's great to hear. I'll definitely give it a try. What would you recommend from the menu? The omelets are quite good, and they have a variety of fresh fruit options as well. You can't go wrong with those. Sounds tempting. I'll make sure to order an omelet and some fresh fruit for breakfast tomorrow. Excellent choice. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Room service can be a convenient option during your stay. Absolutely. It's nice to have the option to enjoy a meal in the comfort of your room. Indeed. Make the most of your hotel experience and savor the convenience of room service. Thank you. I appreciate the recommendation. I'll make sure to try it out during my stay. Lesson 97, Making Plans Hi Anna, I was thinking it would be great to catch up sometime. Would you be interested? Hi there. Sure, I'd love to. It's been a while since we last met. Let's make plans. That sounds fantastic. How about we meet for coffee next week? That works for me. Which day and time would be convenient for you? How about Wednesday afternoon around 3 p.m.? Does that work for you? Wednesday at 3 p.m. sounds good. Let's meet at our favorite coffee shop. Perfect. I'll see you there. Looking forward to catching up with you. Likewise. It'll be great to reconnect and have a nice chat. Lesson 98, Friendly and Knowledgeable Staff Hi Anna, how is your experience at the new store? Are they helpful? Hi. Yes, the staff is friendly and knowledgeable. They've been able to assist me well. That's wonderful to hear. It's always important to have helpful staff who can answer your questions. Absolutely. They've been patient in explaining the products and providing recommendations. It's great when the staff goes the extra mile to ensure customers have a positive experience. I agree. Their knowledge and willingness to help make shopping much more enjoyable. That's fantastic. It's a good sign of excellent customer service. Definitely. I appreciate their efforts, and it makes me want to return to the store in the future. I'm glad to hear that. Enjoy your shopping and the assistance from the friendly staff. Lesson 99, Planning a Road Trip Hi Anna, I found a great seafood restaurant nearby. We should try it out. Hi there. That sounds delicious. I'm always up for trying new seafood dishes. Great. Let's plan a road trip to the restaurant this weekend. It'll be a fun adventure. Count me in. We should also pack some snacks for the road trip. Any suggestions? How about some sandwiches, fruits, and chips? They're easy to pack and will keep us energized. Excellent idea. I'll prepare the sandwiches, and we can buy some fresh fruits on the way. Perfect. It'll be a tasty and enjoyable journey. I can't wait to try the seafood and enjoy the road trip. Me too. It's going to be a memorable experience. Let's make sure to take lots of pictures. Lesson 100, Discussing a Report Hi Anna, good morning. I noticed the report you submitted. It's well detailed and informative. Good morning. Thank you for reviewing the report. I put a lot of effort into gathering and analyzing the data. Your hard work shows. The report provides valuable insights and recommendations. I'm glad you found it useful. I also included some visual charts to make the information easier to understand. That was a great decision. The visuals enhanced the clarity and impact of the report. 
I wanted to present them to the team during the meeting later today. I hope it helps in our decision-making process. I'm sure it will. Your report will provide a solid foundation for our discussion and guide our actions. Thank you. I appreciate your feedback and support. Let's have a productive meeting and move forward. Absolutely. Let's make the most of the report and work together towards our goals.